In video 21, we're going to go through solving inequality board problems. What I'd like for you to do is take out your homework handout that looks like this. We're going to work out four problems together, and then um, five and six, you're going to practice those on your own. To get started with this, let's just review some of the words, um, phrases that we use for the inequality symbols. For example, go ahead and read through the top of your handout here, just for um, just to refresh your memory of these key phrases so that we understand what inequality symbols to use when we do the practice problems. So let's go ahead now and get started with practice problem number one. In practice problem number one, we're going to solve these the same exact way that we do um, equations. When we um, set up our problems with equations, we're going to start with the question. It says, rate an inequality for the number of game tickets you can buy if you want to spend at most $27. From that question, we're going to pull out our variable assignment. A variable assignment is going to be T is for number of tickets. Okay. And then we're going to start our inequality. Okay. We have to find that inequality phrase. And we're going to highlight it so you can see it. Inequality phrase is at most. If you look at the top of your sheet, at most means less than or equal to $27. Okay, so we built the, the right side of our inequality. Now we're going to build the left. And we're going to change this phrase, $2 for admission plus $3 for each game ticket. We're going to change that into an expression. So it's going to be $2 plus 3t. $3 times t. So there is our inequality. Now we just have to solve it. So to solve it, we're going to add negative 2 to both sides, cancel out that term, and we're left with 3t, $3t. It is less than or equal to, excuse me, is less than or equal to 25. Okay, and then we're going to divide by 3. So t is less than or equal to, well, 3 goes into 25. Let's see how many times it goes. Oops, 25 goes 8 times. Track 24. We get 1. Bring down our 0. 3 goes, so it's 8.3 to track 9. It's going to be 8.3 bar. Now, we have to adjust our answer because we can't buy a third of a ticket. So at most, we can buy is T is less than or equal to 8 tickets. At most, we can buy 8 tickets. Are we going to have money left over? Yes. Okay, but if we don't have enough to go up another ticket to buy nine tickets. So there we had to adjust our answers. Sometimes we're going to have to do that with our inequality problems so that they make sense. Let's look at number two. Okay. We started our question and find our variable assignment. It says we want to figure out the number of t-shirts. So we'll do t is for number of t-shirts. Right, and then we look for inequality phrase. Yeah, inequality phrase is right here. I'm going to highlight it. It's at most $90. Right, we just used it at most, so we know that is less than or equal to $90. Now we have to build our left side, the expression side. It says he wants to buy a pair of jeans that cost $34 and spend the rest on t-shirts that cost $8. So this inequality is going to be $34 for his 
Stevens jeans plus eight dollars for each t-shirt that he purchased. And so it says eight T. Okay, and then we're going to solve it just like we did the last time. I'm going to add negative 34 to both sides. This term will cancel out and we'll have $8 T is less than or equal to okay, 90 plus negative 34. So that comes out to be $56. And then we're last, we're going to divide by T. So T is less than or equal to 7. Okay. So it's going to be 7 T shirts. Okay. So he can buy um, at most 7 T shirts. You can buy less than seven or seven. Okay, number three, the sum of a number in 20 is at most six times the number. Okay, so our variable sign is we don't have a question here. We know we're going to solve n is for the number. Okay, and then we find our inequality phrase. At most, right there, and then it says at most six times the number. At most again, less than or equal to six n, and it says the sum of a number. Sum of means a group of addition. So a number plus twenty is less than or equal to six n. And now we have variables on both sides. We're going to move this variable over here. By. We want our, we want our, um, excuse me, when we do inequalities, we want our variable on the left side. So we're going to move this over here. Okay, to move this term over, we got to get rid of the whole thing. Okay, so we have 6n, so we got to take 6n away to move it. Okay, we combine like terms. n plus negative 6n is going to give me negative 5n plus 20. And over here, if I took everything away, I have zero. Now I'm going to move the 20 over, so I'm going to add negative 20 to both sides. So I end up with negative 5 and is less than or equal to negative 20. Now my final step is to divide by negative 5. If I divide by negative, I have to flip the inequality sign. And negative 20 divided by negative 5 is 4. So that n is greater than or equal to 4. Okay. And number 4, last one we're going to work out together here. Rate inequality for the score needed in the third game. So the S is for score needed in third game. Now let's identify our inequality phrase. Okay. In order to make the plus point means at least. So at least means greater than or equal to. And then we need the 965 behind it. Okay. okay. We have three games and we're given the first two scores. So we're going to add those two scores plus S that represents the third score that we don't know. So we're going to do 341 plus 281 plus S for the score that we don't know. Okay, We can combine like terms in 341 plus 281 is 622. So this becomes 622 plus, let me redo that, 622 plus s, not times, but plus, is greater than or equal to 965. 
Now we add negative 6.2 to both sides. So we get these two terms cancel. Those cancel out. So we have S is greater than or equal to 965 plus negative 6.2. Okay. And that's going to be 343. So they need a score of 343 pins on the final game, third game. Okay, now what I'd like you to do, we're going to go ahead and you can do the two practice problems at the bottom. Okay, in practice problem number five, pause the video, pause the video, okay, and work out number five. Okay, once you're done, you can unpause the video and then you can check your answers. Okay, so here is your answers to this one. Um, H is less than or equal to 6 hours. Okay, and number 6, go ahead and pause the video and you can work out this problem. Okay, and then unpause the video and check your answers. Okay, here's your answer for number 6. It becomes N is less than or equal to 6. Okay. Thank you for doing your homework tonight. If you have any questions, please write those down and let's answer those in class. Bye.